all needed supplies, the central line kit, sterile gown, sterile gloves, hat, mask, injectable saline, bio patch, central line dressing, sinusite, and sinusite probe cover are collected. Before beginning the procedure, the ultrasound should be used to examine the patient's venous anatomy to ensure that there are no anomalies. The central line kit should be opened onto the table. The ultrasound probe cover, the bio patch, and the sterile dressing should be opened onto the field. The gown and gloves should be sterilely applied. The assistant should empty sterile saline onto the tray. The cap is broken off the lidocaine and the lidocaine is drawn into the syringe. All ports of the catheter are flushed with saline to remove any air from the system.
patient's neck and upper chest are sterilely prepped. The thyroid drape is placed over the patient, leaving only the neck and upper chest exposed. The assistant applies gel to the end of the ultrasound probe. The probe is inserted inside the probe cover. Special attention is taken to ensure the outside of the cover remains sterile. The site of skin insertion is determined. Lidocaine is injected into the skin, under the clavicle, to the subclavian vein. The patient is placed in Trendelenburg position. The introducer needle is inserted into the skin one centimeter inferior to the junctions of the middle and medial third of the clavicle. The needle is advanced under and along the inferior border of the clavicle, as horizontal to the chest wall as possible towards the suprasternal notch. Once the subclavian vein is reached, dark venous blood is visualized, the syringe is removed, and the wire is inserted through the needle with zero resistance. Once the wire is in place, the introducer needle is removed over the wire. The scalpel is used to make a nick incision into the skin over the guide wire. The dilator is placed over the guide wire through the skin into the vessel. When the dilator is removed from the skin, a finger should be placed over the hole to limit bleeding. The catheter is inserted over the guide wire. Care is taken to have full control of the guide wire at all times. Once the catheter is in place, the guide wire should be removed. Each port on the catheter should be aspirated and flushed with sterile saline.
catheter is now affixed in place. The included suture is used to suture the catheter clamp to the skin. The bio patch and sterile dressing are now applied.